There's been a lot of recent excitement lately because you can now connect ChatGPT to the internet. And I'll show you exactly how to do that. But did you know that there is actually a way better way? This second way I'm going to show you today is actually more proficient and better to use in my opinion. I'll show you both ways, but stick around because the second way, in my opinion, works much better. It's been very frustrating sometimes when I try to ask ChatGPT some sort of knowledge and then I get the results that look like this behind you. What if I need more relevant or up-to-date information? Well, until now, you couldn't get the most relevant, up-to-date information, but now that's all changed. And now the first way I'm about to show you is the way that everybody's most excited about right now. But there is one other way in particular that's completely undervalued and underrated, and in my opinion, this works much better. But first, I'll show you what just came out, and that's going to be using ChatGPT to access the internet via Browse with Bing. And so the first thing you want to do to get this to work is to ensure you have the beta features activated. And so open up your settings and then click on beta features on the left hand side and then make sure you have this feature selected as on browse with Bing and that's what it says try a version of chat GPT that knows when and how to browse the internet answer questions about recent topics and events once that's activated go ahead and close it and now in this case at the bottom it says who won the NBA championship in 2023 and so open up chat GPT 4 and you could see that I have browse with Bing checked on so go ahead and now hit enter and now look what happens. You ask it who won the championship 2023. It's browsing by using the Browse with Bing feature. And then once it's done, it gives you the information. The Denver Nuggets won the NBA championship in 2023, defeating the Miami Heat in four or five games, marking their first championship win in franchise history. Now, what used to happen when you didn't have Browse with Bing available? You would see it says, I'm sorry, but I don't have access to real-time info as my knowledge cutoff date is in September of 2021. So in that case, you couldn't get anything. So, but let me go ahead and show you the next way and let's see what you guys think and if this way works better than the way I just showed you using Browse with Bing. Okay, so now here is the second way. I just have any Chrome website open, which you can also get access to this page with the link in the description and it'll have over 100 prompts. But either way, now what we're gonna do is activate and open up one of my favorite extensions to use with ChatGPT and that's gonna be Harpa AI. Open up Harpa AI. Now watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and put in that same command and I'm gonna say, who won the NBA championship in 2023? I'm gonna hit enter. Now watch this, same thing. It says, I'm sorry, but I don't have access to real-time info as my knowledge only goes up until September, 2021. But now watch this. With just typing in two more characters, you're actually going to get a completely different answer that's accurate. Now, I'm going to paste this prompt in, but this time, at the end of my prompt, right after 2023, do this. Add hyphen and then W, just like this. Now, I added hyphen and W. I'm actually attaching what's called a flag in Harpa AI. Once I hit send, now look, just by simply doing hyphen and W, the Denver Nuggets won the NBA championship in 2023. They defeated the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals with a series score of 4-1, to one, and it was their first NBA title in franchise history. Nikola Jokic played a significant role in leading the Nuggets to their championship victory. You can also do this the same way by, if you don't want to have to remember to use that hyphen W anymore, come down here at the bottom and you'll notice this is a relatively new thing in Harpa AI. If I hover over these three icons right here, you could see the new features with these different flags. So hyphen P, scan page for relevant content. That's really nothing new, but this new parameter, this new flag is new. Web aware is what I just showed you by utilizing the hyphen or the dash W. And now also file aware coming soon. I can't wait for that one. So with that selected, hit that send button again. And now you could see you'll get the same exact results. And this time I didn't have to do that dash W because I have these buttons down here selected. Who won the Super Bowl in 2023? The Kansas City Chiefs won Super Bowl LV 1-1 in 2023. They defeated the Philadelphia Eagles the score of 38 to 35 Patrick Mahomes was named the MVP of the game. Now, I like all the information, the additional information it gives you in addition to just simply the Chiefs won. Fact checking, who won the Super Bowl in 2023? Let's do some fact checking. And then again, here we have it, Kansas City, Philadelphia Eagles, the Chiefs won 38 to 35. Awesome. Okay, so again, same question. I have browse with Bing on. Now let's see the results that Bing provides us on ChatGPT. It takes a little bit of a longer time in ChatGPT with Browse with Bing. It just gives us the simple answer. The Chiefs won in 2023, defeating the Eagles 38 to 35. What I noticed about utilizing Harpa is that in my opinion, I like a little bit more. It is much faster, but B, I do like the additional information it does give you. So you could see that when I use that dash W, 
it said the Nuggets won, and here's all the details. But then again, over here, when I asked it who won the Super Bowl in 2023, it says Kansas City Chiefs won. Here's the score. But then it tells me who won the MVP to game, which that little bit of extra tidbit information is pretty cool to me. Either way, it is pretty cool that you can now connect it to the internet. So try each one for yourself, and you guys tell me what you think works a little bit better. But thank you so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Yeah.